in the air. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Let's give a round of applause for the very funny, very talented Charles Coburn. Kid Rock. <laughs> um, you guys thought, you know, like maybe Steve O, now it's Kid Rock. Where is it at? Where is it at? Now it's not as fun. But I mean, you know, the, the thing is, I used to listen to Kid Rock when I was a kid. You know, really, if you listen to that song, Ball or Ball, anybody know? Nobody on the only one. Okay. Well, you're not going to relate to this next comment bit. But, uh, <laughs> no, the, I mean, uh, I used to rock out to like Ball or Ball, you know, it's like Ball with the Ball. Oh, hey, so that, that one. song, yeah, that one. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. Paul with the ball, the bang, the bang, the, yeah. You know, yeah. that shit used to rock when we were like, you know, 15 and shit. That was like what we grew up with. And I used to, I, used to, I listened to that song recently, and it's like the stupidest fucking song I've ever heard in my life. Yeah. Like, seriously, like, the entire song is like, ball with the what, the who, and there's like, niggy niggy, which yeah. is kind of like a racial element that we don't want to know about, which is weird. And, you know, and, and I don't know if you realize, uh, another thing about the song that I didn't realize when I was 14 is that the whole song is about how cool it is to be white trash. And uh, it's not. I don't know if I'm shattering anybody's illusions right now about white, it's not cool to be white trash. I mean, like, those are the songs we had to inspire us growing up when we were like 15, you know, you know developmental years from like 13 to like 16. You know, we had a few good saving grace, you know, kind of like, you know, Soundgarden, Rage Against the Machine, you know, Beastie Boys. We had a few good songs, but like, if you look at my dad's generation, the generation that basically built America, you know, I mean, for better or for worse, you know, my dad's you know, the baby boomer generation has made America what it is today, you know? And they look at the songs that they're from their, that they grew up from their developmental, from their developmental years, and it's like, you know, you know, they had the Janis Joplin, the Stones, the Beatles, you know, fucking, I mean, all kind of, I could go on forever. And they went forth and they used that inspirational music to go forth and build America bigger and better. You know, like I said, for better or for worse, it's bigger and better now. People wonder why the fucking Occupy generation can't get anything done. It's because the best rock song from their generation is Crawling in my feet, <laughs> And so is our economy. I mean, it's fucked up. I mean, they, the, the next generation is even more fucked. The next generation is growing up. The best rock song they got is some big tip chip singing about fireworks. I mean, you know, it's like, what? <laughs> That's rock and roll now. Okay. So, uh, are there any old people in the audience tonight? I don't know. It'd be weird. Oh, somebody actually laughed. Hey, yeah. Holy shit. Yeah. Oh, yes. Yes. Pens. Uh, so, <laughs> no, I'm not talking about this next bit. It, it's, it's not about old people. Okay, I'm not talking about it's like a certain age group and beyond. You know what I'm talking about? I mean, I'm not talking, say, I'm talking about a certain type of people. Don't get offended yet, okay? I'll get to the offensive stuff later, okay? I mean, yeah, like, I'm not talking about age group and beyond. I'm talking about a certain type. I'm talking about old people, okay? I'm talking about so old that you, that you can't move more than two feet per day. Okay, I'm talking about so old that they have to take 19 different kinds of pills to keep from rotting. Okay, I'm talking about so old that they're so wrinkly, that their face is so wrinkly that you can't really tell what they used to look like before they were wrinkly. <laughs> you know, I mean, it's, I don't know, some of you are like, kind of like, you know, oh, well, we got to have respect for our elders, you know, I mean, you know, and it's, you know, you got to have respect for old people. Bullshit, okay? All right, if you got accomplishments or something, you know, you fought in a war, or, you know, something, you know, you can have respect for your accomplishments or anything. But, you know, just because you manage to not die for a long time doesn't impress me, okay? I don't die all the time, okay? I can say that definitively. I've never died a day in my entire life, okay? So just because you're on a hot streak doesn't impress me, okay? Because that hot streak is going to end and you're going to cash out and then, then the Reaper's, uh, yeah, it's, man, Dealer with that, I don't understand loving that, stupid. Anyway, <laughs> no, I'm from, a, I'm from the South, I don't know if you can tell that yet. Uh, I'm from the, I know it's kind of hard to tell, I'm from the South, you know, I've got a shirt on, and a shoe. <laughs> <laughs> I'm using words you can look up in a dictionary, you know, it's, uh, 
You know, the thing is, I'm from the South, but I mean, I don't have much of an accent from where I'm from. You know, here I have kind of like a, you know, a little bit of a Southern twang to it. But where I'm from, you know, I have, you know, I have a very, I have a very low, you know, this, this is more like an accent than where, where I come from. You know, this is more like, you know, you just go out the door and go around the thing, go out the porch and fetch that thing off the thing and turn on the spigot there. Out by the door, dumbass, dang. But, uh, yeah, so that's the, 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 the voice where I come from, you know, that's the voice of the South, you know. But... And you know the, the thing I like about the southern accent is that you can is that it's developed from the English accent. Yes, it is. Shut up. I can explain why. Okay. The English. No, seriously. Th Georgia is one of the thirteen original colonies, and then you know the English people start coming over on boats and they start talking like this and start talking like this. You know, They're just you know developmental. But you, you know you can take the English accent and kind of uh, reverse it with the southern accent in places you might not expect. And, Sort of, sort of like, you know, but soft, what light on yonder window breaks? <laughs> it is the ice, and Juliet is the sun. Arise, fair sun, and kill the envious moon, for she's over the sick and pale with grief. That thou, her maid, art more fair than she. Be thou not her maid, for she's envious. Her bestial library is but sickly and green, and only the fools do wear it. Cast it off! It is my lady. Oh, it is my love. And that was, uh, that, uh, that's as much Shakespeare as I'm going to learn for you people. <laughs> so, uh, that's me, Charles Cohen, and that's the uh, time, I think. So. Bear in my hand, I told you the bar was open. I didn't take advantage of SOBs. I have set the bar. No.